Hello Squirrels and welcome to PPM6 TV. Today what it is is hopefully the last ever video about timecode on the F6 and the Zoom F4. Zoom F6, Zoom F4. Now a little bit of history before we start. Um, when the F4 came out um, it was a little bit hampered by the fact that if you powered it down you lost timecode. That's obviously no good. You power down for lunch, you power up again, you've got to resync everything. That's not so great. So along came the F6, which had a fancy down feature, which meant when you powered it back up, it added the real time clock onto the time code. Uh, Why well, they didn't think of that in the first place? And now you're still in sync even when you've powered down. Then they added that facility to the F4 in a firmware upgrade. So if you haven't done that to your F4, please do that. So now the question I have been asked is, well, what's the difference between the two? Now, my answer to that is, well, if the firmware works on both of them, then they're probably the same implementation. But of course, you can never, never, never actually guarantee that. So we're going to test that proposition today. Um, first, though, just one word about the time code on the two machines, and that is the F4 has, in one sense, a better implementation. On the back of the F4, you can see time code in and out on BNCs which is nearly the right answer. The actual right answer to time code is um, a Limo connector. Look at this, my wonderful Alton Origin. That's got a Limo connector that does time code in and out, and it's standard on, on a lot of really good gear, and that's what it should have, but it doesn't. But it does have professional connectors, BNCs, one for in, one for out. They go on there, they're not coming off. That's a professional solution. Now. The F6 has miniaturized everything and um, their time code is on a three and a half mil jack in and out, which means, you know, you end up with something like this. Yes, your classic uh, photo to three and a half mil. And you can see on the end of the red one um, that uh, I've got a, 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 a BNC to phono barrel in order to get and I suppose if I had another one I could get the time code out of the white one um, but that goes in there now a three and a half mil jack is not a professional connector in anybody's world and it sticks out from the side you know I, I'd look to get a right if you can get a right angle one of these um, and you're going to be using time code I would I would recommend that and actually they probably could have put a limo in there uh, there's enough room but maybe cost um, was an issue so I've taken my F4 and my F6 and I've synced them both to an ambient locket box, left them running for seven hours and then come back to check um, the details. Uh, looking at the uh, F6, it has uh, drifted two frames from the locket box or the locket box has drifted two frames from it, whichever way you, you want to look at it. Um, and two frames in a working day, seven hours. I know your working days are longer, but two, two frames um, uh, across a day is um, it's not the end of the world. Um, how about the difference between the two machines? Well, have a look at this. This shows the F6 with the uh, on the internal timecode and the external timecode in this case is the F4. And um, there's one frame difference, which says to me, they're both using the same timecode implementation. That then is my final video on Zoom F6 and F4 timecode. Um, I think they probably have the same hardware implementation given that they're uh, within a frame after um, seven hours and they're both pretty good. We would like um, the F6 to have better timecode connectors, but hey, you can't have everything in this life. And there will be another video about the F6's extraordinary power uh, performance, but that's uh, for another time. Hope you've enjoyed your visit to PPM6 TV. Do come back soon. Bye for now.